Hope, uh, Melissa, great reading, as always. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. And that's one stupendous lineup today, yes, right? Yes, it is stupendous, isn't it? Stupendous. David, uh, co-host, stupendous, right? Right. Okay. Um, all right. Well, why don't we, without uh, further ado, bring out our uh, first guest. Uh, we're very happy to have him. He's uh, 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 written comedy for uh, everybody from uh, Chris Rock to uh, Conan O'Brien, David Letterman, uh, Dana Carvey, and, and, of course, he appears uh, all over the country in, in different stand-up clubs. Uh, please welcome Louis C.K. Now I must be tough when I when I give all those credits. Then you probably feel like you have to come out here and just be yeah, it's just blowing all over, blowing all over. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. But but maybe we can talk about something else besides your comedy because I right. know you're not just doing comedy. You also are a filmmaker. That's right. Okay, and we have some uh, pictures here, right? Yeah, this is a, a, a feature, my first feature film that I wrote and directed and it's called Tomorrow Night. Tomorrow Night, okay. Yeah. And what are we looking and at yeah. here? This well, this a... here, this is Chuck Sklar, the star, and he plays a guy named Chuck who, uh, he likes to sit in a bowl of ice cream, like bare ass, <laughs> and wriggle around. And oh. that's how he kind of gets off. Do we have a photo of that, uh, Sod, or no? Well, that's kind of way, he's preparing to do that now. Okay. See, he's got his pants, his pajama pants down, and he's about to... You'll be giving a lot of people a lot okay. of ideas, I think. I oh think boy. so, yeah. This isn't an autobiographical and movie. No, it's got, no, I don't know anybody who does that, but okay. I, uh, okay. I think people probably do. There this is uh, Heather Morgan playing a character named, uh, name is Lola Vagina. I don't know if I can say that on this show, but that's her name. Uh, and she ends up dating Chuck for a while, but it doesn't really work out. Okay, yeah, what, what's this movie rated for this? <laughs> it's, I, I don't know yet, because, well, I haven't finished editing it. So okay. I, but, uh, uh, so anyway, Chuck then meets this old woman named Flo, and uh, they fall in love, because she's an old woman, and she's depressed, and he likes her because she's very neat and clean. You know how old people are very tidy and orderly? <laughs> right, okay. And that's the kind of guy he is. He's a very, you know, sort of a... Uh, orderly person oh. so he falls in love with her and they get married a match made in heaven I yeah i okay. think so all right and uh, and then down here and then down here this is flo's best friend tina who's played by rick shapiro and it's a, you know it's a guy but uh he dresses he dresses like an old lady so uh this is at the wedding this is tina and the priest talking and he's sort of trying to pick up the priest he's a very tina's a very uh I don't know the word. Very horny person. Always okay. trying to pick so, uh, up. not quite gone with the wind. Kind no, of no. It's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, uh, it's a very sordid tale. Okay. Now, please uh, stay with us, Mr. Sure. Sure. We'd, we'd like to bring out our next guest, if we may. Sure. Uh, please welcome Mr. David Berkowitz. Now, you were a beautician. You've actually been... I'm a hairdresser for 35 years. 35 years? 35 wow. years. Well, that's you brought your uh, clippers with you. Right. We're going to shave people's heads today, and we're going to write out Oddsville. Oddsville, right. Okay. Now, okay. now this is interesting, actually, because you were actually in the service years back, and you were able to shave uh, quite a few heads, right? So right. In uh, uh, basic training, before guard duty, um, 135 men came out, and I did it in 20 minutes. Wow. But I didn't write letters on their heads. Uh, That's going to take the time. That's a trick. Okay. That's a trick. Um, all right. So now you're going to have uh, volunteers that are going to, and you're going to write uh, each letter of the word Oddville. Exactly. The head. Right. Okay. And okay. you have uh, uh, some help with you here. I right. guess. Uh, I have my daughter, April. Yeah. April. Okay, April. Hi, April. Uh, and, uh, and our volunteer, right? Can uh, each explain, uh, uh, just give us your names and where you're from. Uh, Phil Demerit from South Bronx. I'm Danny from Queens. 
Alexander Rivera, South Bronx. Dan from Jersey. Rich Grasso from Stanford, Connecticut. Ed from Texas. John Tripp from New York. Brian Hoffman from Buffalo. Okay. Now, uh, maybe you can walk back over here. And uh, we have Mr. Berkowitz all uh, set up back here. And uh, you're going to be able to do this throughout the program. That's okay, uh, Mr. Berkowitz? Let's try. Okay. And uh, how do you get to pick, like, who is the, uh, who's going to be the O? And who's well, be the, the O has a lot of hair. <laughs> okay. The V has not too much hair. Okay. And we work it by the letters. Well, that's a good start. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you maybe if you wanted to be one of these. Uh, no, no. I think I already have an O here. Yeah, no, 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 is it, uh, now, there was, there was a story, right, where you were actually in the, uh, uh cutting hair in your underwear one time? That's a long story. Uh, I, <laughs> um, I did about 35 men, and I'm in the, sh I'm finished, I'm going to the shower, and this other guy comes, and he says, you gotta cut my hair for guard duty, and I grabbed my t-shirt instead of my underwear, and I was shaving them naked. Oh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> did you know that? <laughs> he never said a word. <laughs> okay, now I guess that you know. Now you can just please keep uh, keep sitting there, Mr. Berkowitz. Okay, uh, we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna keep checking in with you to see how that odd bill's coming along. Uh, but uh, we have lots more coming up, so uh, don't go away. We're going to have uh, Mr. Abdominals, a 69-year-old bodybuilder and a master of illusion. So stay tuned. Lots more. <laughs> MTV Video Music Awards opening act, Thursday, September 4th at 6.30 p.m. You won't want to miss a second. Letting it all hang out at MTV's Oddville, and it's coming your way thanks to Kudos Granola Bars. It's out there. By 7-Up, it's an up thing. And by Union Bay. Hey, we got him. Hey, we got a letter. New Kudos flavor. Uh, granola with chunks of real Snickers. Come up with a, with a commercial to introduce them. Legal things you need to keep in mind. No altering of the word Snickers. No rough housing in a moving vehicle. So Kudos with Snickers must always be shown in an appetizing manner. Apart from that, you kids just go wild. Buy new flavor. Come on and do it. You know there's really nothing to it. It's a lift that you get. It's a rhythm in your step. When you taste the lemon line, your world comes alive. Cause it's cool and it's wonderful and it's totally fine. It's an up thing. Does it every time. want an acne medication that dries up your skin while clearing your zits, discover Proper pH, a proven acne fighter that moisturizes with alpha hydroxy and aloe. No zits? Great skin. Proper pH, the proper way to clear up your skin. Nabu had a commercial contest for students. I would do something with the cap. That's a winner. Thank <laughs> you. 
Then bite the burnt. Only burnt gum crystallizes these flavors into a delicious taste that lasts. Stew after stew after stew. Burnt makes you hungry for gum. We're definitely breaking the ground here. Announcing a publishing first in magazines for women. Women are ready for this. Introducing Condé Nast Sports for Women. Women love sports. They want a magazine that's made for them. And the reaction has been, it's about time. It's about getting better at your sport. It's been great to try something new. This magazine is about a passion that a lot of women have felt for a long time and there hasn't been anything out there. There'll be information on where to hike, where to bike, where to rock climb, how to do that to begin with. Gabrielle Reese is going to write about what it is to be a woman and an athlete today. Subscribe with this special charter offer, 12 monthly issues for just $1 each. Plus, get this handy sports bag free with payment. Sports for Women these days is about confidence. This magazine is smart, fun. We're bringing all these elements together for the first time. I think women are psyched. They're totally psyched for this magazine. Call to get 12 issues for just $1 each. Plus, this sports bag free. Condé Nast Sports for Women. Call 1-800-441-0200. From uh, Barbados, is that Barbados, right? yes. Barbados. Okay, and now we have some photos. You've been uh, you've been doing this for a number of years. Uh, uh, fifty-one years. Fifty-one years. Wow. Fifty-one years as a professional bodybuilder. Bodybuilder. Yes. Okay, and and how old are you here? Uh, do you think? Uh, That's about uh, my thirty. Only thirty. 30. 30. Okay. And then we have one here from one of the uh, bodybuilding magazines. This is from the. Uh, Seventy. Yeah, you're just uh, says uh, you're just forty-eight at this 40, point. Yeah, yeah. Just a baby at this yeah. point, right? Uh, wow. 
Just amazing. Now, how often do you uh, do you uh, exercise? Uh, how do you? I train uh, six days a week, three days on, one off. Wow. Okay. One, uh, one and a half to two hours. Okay. Do you, do you work out much on Mr. CK? No, no, I don't. Uh, I'm kind of lazy. You <laughs> uh, have big hands. So oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, please, uh, uh, please stay with us. We, we, we have lots more we want to get to, so we can all be out together. Uh, we'd love to welcome Mr. Don Steinfeld. Hello, everybody. Nice to be here. Two intersecting planes of light produce the rainbow. This question mark will now break and crumble. Let it pulverize and take the disguise of the exclamation point. Gather it and look at both sides before we say anything. So at our final point, we can all clearly see the light. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Mr. Hall there and uh, Mr. Uh, Hall, how are you? Mr. Green nice over on the other side and uh, okay. uh, Mr. Uh, CK here. Uh, Mr. CK, nice to meet you. Now, uh, you actually started uh, when you were younger with uh, quarters, right? When you had That's correct, yes. Morning. My hands were a little too small to handle the half dollars and uh, I progressed as uh, the years went by. Uh, Mr. Barkowitz, everything going okay? Coming along. Okay, we're almost uh, minutes. Melissa, maybe you can tell us what else is up ahead. So we have a guy with backwards feet, a girl who counts on everything you say, and the music of that. So stay with us. Chocolate? I wonder if they ever play Skins versus Rose. I I'm thinking about plastic surgery today. 
uh, particularly about women that are having their breasts made bigger. I think it's the same because that has nothing to do with you as an individual. Even if you have no bosom, it is, part, is in your very heart and soul. An evil empire is sucking the life force from a planet, destroying all the civic past. It's up to one soldier of fortune to save the world. If he succeeds, you survive. If he fails, you can always hit the reset button. Final Fantasy VII, only on PlayStation. At first, my wife was worried. She kept saying something about my knees. You have artificial knees. But then I told her about Zoom Air. It's lower to the ground, more responsive. The air unit springs back in 31 hundredths of a millisecond. You could run away from people faster. Or dance around in the pocket, uh, sprint for a first down. Or run away from people faster. But I wouldn't be making this comeback without her blessing. And my super fast Zoom Air too. Mike Proctor is a student at Buckley University. And he's about to become the subject of a remarkable experiment. He will live inside this small chamber, cut off from all human contact, alone. Yo, get a little milk in here. For the next 30 days. Oh, no, 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 I didn't sign on for this. Guys, I got tons of cereal. I want some milk. Got me. Ready, please? Got milk. We're definitely breaking the ground here. Announcing and publishing first in magazines for women. Women are ready for this. Introducing Condé Nast Sports for Women. Women love sports. They want a magazine that's made for them. And the reaction has been, it's about time. It's about getting better at your sports. It's inspiration to try something new. This magazine is about a passion that a lot of women have felt for a long time and there hasn't been anything out there. There'll be information on where to hike, where to bike, where to rock climb, how to do that to begin with. Gabrielle Reese is going to write about what it is to be a woman and an athlete today. Subscribe with this special charter offer, 12 monthly issues for just $1 each. Plus, get this handy sports bag free with payment. Sports for Women is days is about confidence. This magazine is smart, fun. We're bringing all these elements together for the first time. I think women are psyched. They're totally psyched for this magazine. Call to get 12 issues for just $1 each. Plus, this sports bag free. Condé Nast, Sports for Women. Call 1-800-577-1919. I know you're cutting away. You're, you're getting our Oddville uh, shavings back there, right? They're coming along. Uh, winding down. Okay. Okay, winding down. All right. Well, uh, we're going to take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, but first, uh, let's bring out our next guest, Mr. Dennis Parente. Mm -hmm. Hi. Melissa. Hi. Right, and uh, we want to, uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, now, you're from where? Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. Okay. All my life. All right. And you have a special skill you're going to share with us. Yes, I do. And when, that is? when I was in eighth grade, I always knew that my feet walked out to the sides a little bit. One day in the playground, someone asked me, how could you do that? I said, I don't know. But I wonder how far they can go around. Like this. No, I promise. The first question I always get is, does it hurt? And no. The second question I always get is, can you do that with your head? 
No, I can't do that either, but I always tell everybody I'm working on it. Oh, my. Now, can you walk uh, like that? Yeah, I can. It's funny. Walk into an elevator? Ha, 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 Uh, have you been examined uh, by a, a doctor with this? Or, uh? Uh, yeah, I saw a doctor and he said that basically I just had a really flexible ankle. You, you paid well, a guy to find that out? Oh, no, I was on a camping trip with him, my guy's opinion, and after he picked up his jaw from the reaction, I uh, found out what he thought of it. All right, well, please uh, stay with us. We'd like to bring out our next guest, if we may. Uh, please welcome Ms. Kelly Jordan. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Jordan. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, you have a very special skill, mm -hmm. and that is that counting letters. Counting letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I, if I just toss a word out to you, you'll be able to tell me right away how many letters are in that word. Okay, I'm gonna count on it. Okay, I'm gonna count on it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try um, uh, animal. Six. Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Melissa, you want to try one of these? How about one of my favorite um, uh -huh. cookie monster? <sighs> Thirteen. Okay, it has a little tricky because that's two words. Really. Yeah. Uh, okay, Mr. C.K., you want to? Uh, library. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Berkowitz, do you have a word you want to uh, try? Um, e. But we're working on E now. I don't, I don't do words, I do letters. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Uh, well, so now you're just about done here, right? Right. One more. Okay, just, just finishing up there. Okay, great. Okay. How about the um, Mississippi. Uh, Eleven. Huh? Oh, You're quick. How about another one? Odd <laughs> <laughs> All right. So far, so good. Uh, so what? Ten. Ten. Okay. Good. I'm pretty good. Uh, David, you, maybe you want to uh, volunteer one. Uh, <laughs> right? Okay. No? Okay. Okay, Mr. Berkowitz, are we ready to show your handiwork? You're ready to go. Show right. on the road. All right. Bring them on. <laughs> he goes left. Okay. He goes first. Left. Uh, on the count of three, you're all going to turn to the right. One, two, three. Okay, doing their song, uh, Downtime, from the album Fat, please welcome from New York via London, Fat.
Thank you.